Libra. Hey Libra, welcome back to my channel. And this is the week ahead for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or wherever you have a heavy Libra placement. If you're new to my channel, I pray before each and every one of my readings so that way my energy is protected, your energy is protected as well. If you're returning, thank you so much for returning. The first message that we have for you is, wow, we have God showed me your true colors. Hmm. So what I'm picking up from this message is this. It's almost as if your person not only is aware of who you are to them, and they have been enlightened to, you know, exactly who you are and the position that you play in their lives. But I'm getting the sense that they've also come into some knowledge about the things that you don't openly express to them. It's kind of like this is divine intervention here. This is something that you couldn't tell them. This is something that anybody else couldn't tell them. This had to be shown to them from God. And what I feel like your person was shown, okay, are the things that you don't openly express, the things of your past, the traumas that you have been through, the heartbreak that you've endured, um, the lessons that you've learned, your ascension process, and just all of the things that bound together to make you who you are today. And when your person is thinking back to you coming in contact with them, you know, the day that they met <laughs> this person, um, which is you. It's making them have a, a deeper level of appreciation for you because your person is now aware of everything that you've went through, how much you have stuck your heart on the line and gotten your heart broken. And they can't help but to think of them coming in contact with this beautiful soul who was so loving and so lighthearted and so radiant, um, also so empathetic, so intuitive. And your person is like, oh my gosh, how can you have been through all of these things? Some of you have actually been through similar things on your past. Some of you have evolved from toxic childhood and toxic relationships, and you've really, really put in that work to break these patterns off of your life, to break these cycles off of your life but you do not look like what you've been through. So when people see you and they come in contact with you and they feel your energy, they just think that you are this radiant, happy, you know, evolved being, and they have no idea what it is that you have been through. And it's almost as if the fact that you still have the capacity to love from a real raw place is like taking your person by storm. So not only have they awakened to who you are to them, they've also awakened to who you are through the lens of God. Wow. That's powerful. That may not be for everyone, but I feel like if you are a divine feminine that has really, really been intentional about healing and about um, really being mindful about how you show up, because it's a choice, you know? to heal. It's a choice to view the, the world through, the lens, through a lens of love. It's really a choice because the, the energy that I'm picking up on here, the, the things that you have evolved through, the cycles of um, just, just lower vibrations that you've broke through, the change that you've broken off of your life, you really show up healed. You really show up like a loving, supportive, just high vibrational being. And you could show up a totally different way. You could literally be a totally different person than who you are today. And the fact is almost blowing your person's mind. It's like, because what I'm picking up here is that I feel like you have been through similar backgrounds with your person, okay? And it's almost as if your person is looking at you like, how can, how can this divine feminine have been through all of this and still decide to show up, still decide to love, still have the capacity to even love, to see me, to even want to love me from, from a raw, real place here. This is just, this is beautiful. Your person is definitely 
um, seeing you, like really, really seeing you, seeing deep, deep into your heart, into the places that you don't openly express with other people. Let's get the next message here. Wow, we have the silence speaks volumes. So yeah, I think this goes back into the energy rising, okay? And I feel that there is a high level of anticipation as it pertains to the communication right now. And you both can feel it at a massive, massive rate. I feel like this message is, is really pointing to the fact that even though you may be at a distance, even though there may be no communication or the communication is lagging, your silence is never really silent. There is so much communication that actually takes place even when you are not together. We're talking about telepathic communication. We're talking about you just receiving physical sensations. You seeing um, your person's name everywhere. You seeing signs. You seeing synchronicities here. Okay. Your silence is not normal silence. The silence speaks volumes. Okay. And I feel like it's really pulling on your person at this time because their mind is like going crazy. They're trying to figure out how it is you feel. They're trying to figure out, are you trying to send them a message? Because I feel like a lot of divine feminists have kind of pulled their energy back in a sense where you are still attached to your person, but you've also learned how to detach as well. You've learned how to hold space. And where you used to feel this anxious feeling or, you know, you used to equate your person not being in contact with you, with them not loving you. It's like you're at a secure place right now where you know your worth, you know your person loves you. And you, you're, just, you're just taking this time to really pour into yourself to make sure that you are okay and you're sending them love from a distance. You're sending them love and light. You're sending them love and healing energy telepathically. But I feel like there's a lot of nonverbal communication that's happening right now, okay? And it's really speaking volumes. I also feel like your person, because I keep getting initiate, I feel like your person wants to initiate contact with you right now. And there's a lot that they are feeling within this silence. They're trying to read it, okay? So maybe you go a certain amount of time without speaking. Maybe you have went past that time limit this time. And your person is like, wow, well, what does that mean? You know, they're trying to read the silence and try to gauge when to take action, when to when to reach out with when to reach out to you at this time. Okay, the next message we have here is yes, you make me so nervous. Yeah. So like I was saying before, there's something about the divine feminine where you are, you, you really just have no idea how much of a lasting impact you have on your person and how they kind of like take everything personal when it comes to you. So you may think that, because I'm definitely picking up that just with the energies that are happening on the planet right now and just the energies that are coming through with this reading, I feel like your person wants to connect with you, okay? They're trying to figure out how you feel throughout this silence and it's making them feel a little bit nervous because they want to come towards you, but they feel like, I don't know, I, I feel like they just have this nervous energy around how to actually reach out to you or how to approach you okay i feel like you you have grown a lot divine feminine and for some of you um a certain means of communication that your person used to take to come towards you is just not acceptable anymore you really really want to speak you really really have to cover some ground um as it pertains to this connection and they know that they kind of have to come in at a different angle and you make them extremely nervous. I don't think that you are aware of how nervous you actually make your person. Cause you could be looking at it like, oh, it's just a small task to pick up the phone and call them. But it's like they play things over in their mind, 
trying to figure out how it is that they want to approach you. And I'm also picking up how you respond to them is it is especially important to them. You don't you don't have an idea of how a certain tone of voice or a certain way that you respond to them can really, really, you know, alter the way that they approach you or or how they feel. They're really, really sensitive when it comes to this connection and when it comes to you. Um, yeah. I also got approval. So your approval matters to them. And it's, it drives them crazy, I'm getting, because you're the only person who they think they put this much thought into the simplest things, you know? That's the kind of effect that you have on them. It's weird because even though they're on the outside, for some of them, even when they contact you and they seem super confident, you know, um, super poised, you know, super laid back and chill, they are like going crazy on the inside just because they're hanging, literally hanging on to your every word. I feel the feminine energy. Some of you feel this energy too when you talk to your person. It could just, for anyone else, it's a normal text message thread. It's a normal um, phone call. But when it comes to your person, it's so intense. They can feel this energy too. So even though, of course, they're in their masculine energy, they're going to come across super chill, you know, super confident. They're definitely... Feeling this energy too. The next message we have here is, I put you on a pedestal. Yeah. I feel like your person has always kind of held you above every connection that they've ever had in their lives, but now, even more so because it's kind of like they've had access into things that you don't really openly express. It's, I keep coming back to that, okay? So whatever they were shown here by God about you, okay? And this is your raw, like, real journey of who you are. It's like your person has that much more respect for you now and they hold you above everyone else, okay? So it's like they always want to impress you. You know, they always want to make sure that the communication, they're coming across clearly towards you. And it's like if they feel like they're, I'm getting pressure. So there can be an immense amount of pressure on them to always come at you correctly here. And I feel like in the moments where they don't feel as if they can do that, that is when they run. Or that is when they don't show up fully as themselves connecting from their heart space because they hold you so high in their minds and in their hearts that it's like, you know, they have to come at you correctly. There's like, there's no way around it. The next message we have here is Wow, I can't wait any longer. Yeah, there's definitely anticipation building, okay? Especially with the energetic shifts that are happening on the planet right now. I feel like your person, also with, with this revelation that they've had about you, it's like they really want to connect with you. They want to talk to you, okay? They are extremely impressed about your journey, about who you are. For some of you, you have a lot of similarities, a lot of commonalities with your person. I mean, from their past maybe from their childhoods, maybe from some of the battles that, that they have experienced too. You both have evolved from these things. And your person just can't wait to be in your energy is what I'm feeling. And I feel like you both are picking up on these sensations. There's like this anticipation energy that I feel where it's like you know something is about to happen. You feel like your person is about to reach out to you. You feel like there's about to be a major breakthrough with your person and I feel like it definitely is too because they've definitely been under divine invention divine intervention when it comes to you okay they're realizing why they love you they re they're realizing why it's you and for some of them this is going all the way back to your past and they're saying like oh my gosh well I've been through that too 
now I understand. And they have a deep, deep level of respect for you for being able to see straight into their heart space, regardless of, of every single thing that you've been through. That's like amazing to them. And that's the number one thing that's kind of sticking out here is like your ability and your capacity to love even though you've been through things. And they're realizing how brave that is. And that's really, that's no small task. Because for some of you, your masculines, they've been through the same things, but instead of loving, they've been existing in fear. And they've actually been running from the very thing that they've, that they've been wanting this entire time. So yeah, your person definitely cannot wait to be in your energy, you know? It's kind of like they need you because they've, because they've gotten this inside look of who you actually are. It's like, this is definitely my person. This is my life partner. This is who I want to do life with. You know, if my person is, is, is strong enough and is spiritually inclined enough to be able to go through all of these battles in life and still show up and be loving and still show up and see the best in me, even when I'm not presenting that. And not even just them. I feel like it's it's beyond them at this point. It's you, you know, and it's it's how you address the world. It's not just how you approach them. This is who you are. I think that is what's just the most beautiful thing to them. This is actually who you are. You know, you're able to walk in a room. You're able to read a room. You're able to feel exactly what people need from you. And you don't think anything about it because you are full of love, you know, and you have the capacity to give love to, to every person that you encounter in every single room that you walk into. Yes, the last message that we have is we're better together than apart. Yeah, your person is definitely seeing you as their counterpart on every single level. Okay, so I feel like if this message is for you, you definitely have some commonalities with your person from the beginning of your journey all the way up until now. And they have definitely been under some divine intervention to really see who you are. Because when people see you divine feminine, all they seem to see is your light. They don't see the dark. They don't see the darkness that you had to climb through in order to be who you were. It's a choice to get up and to live with love. It's really a choice because you could very well get up every single day and bask in all the darkness. You could be a jerk. You could be someone who sees the worst in everybody, but you choose to see the best in everybody. And you're the type of person that they want to have with them now and for the rest of their days. Because another thing I just got is you have the ability to change your person without force. You changed your person with love. That is what makes them love you and put you up on this pedestal here because of your approach, because of your way to really reach into people and extract the parts of them, just, you know, those loving parts. You're able to get right to people's hearts. You're able to get them right at their core. And no one has ever been able to do that to your person before. And you didn't have to do this with force. You did this by being authentic, by being real, by being raw, and by, by just being yourself. And that is what makes you stand out to your person here. So your person is definitely feeling this energy as if they want to reach out to you. They want to connect with you here. because you have so much that you need to talk about, okay? Your person realizes that you're better together than apart. The energy is the same. They can definitely feel your absence when you're not with them. And they, they've made up their mind. It's almost as if they, they need you to be beside them in this lifetime. Who you are, you, they've definitely been shown exactly who you are and your character, your heart, your empathy, okay? They need that. So that's the message that I have for you today. If you resonated for, with this message, be sure to hit the like button on your way out. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Bye.